Hey guys, and welcome to a new video on how to create your own trivia game. On the last one, we went through how to program a simple question, select an answer, and see if it was correct or not, along with some simple animations. Now, let's work on creating a spinning wheel so we can choose a category to play with at the beginning of the game and get a question based on that result. Now, before we get started, I added in the configuration the eight categories that we're going to have on our wheel. So if you look at the asset, we have eight categories here. So I made sure that we have all of them in the configuration file. And another thing we're going to do is grab everything inside of our canvas. We're going to go create empty parent. We're going to go to this question screen. We're going to drag and drop this to our prefabs. We're going to disable this for now. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's create a new game object. We're going to call this wheel screen. We're going to add two images. So the first one's going to be the wheel. Make sure this is parented here. And the play button. So for the wheel, we're going to go to art. I'm going to drag and drop this here. Set native size. It looks good. Make sure that it's on zero. And then for the play button, we're going to just this one, set native size, and let's move it down a little bit. Perfect. We also need the wheel button. So this is going to be the spin button. So let's put that there. Perfect. Now that we have that in place, let's go to scripts, UI, and create a new script. Let's call this wheel UI. Let's open this up. And on here, we want to have a method that we're going to call public void spin wheel. Now, what we want to do in this method is to take our wheel and rotate it by changing the set axis from zero to negative 360. So to do that, let's go back to our code. So we're going to do a float random angle and it's going to be a random dot range between 0 and 360 so this is how much it's going to rotate our wheel we then want to calculate the total amount of angles so it's called rotate angles and we want to do 360 plus the total amount of rotations that we want so let's do it here so let's go public int amount rotations sorry this is not plus this is times and then we're going to add a random angle so what this will do is if we want two full spins we're going to put two in the amount of rotation so it's going to do two plus the random angle that we get so it might be two and a half two and a, two and a little bit more but that's what we're going to get and then we want to do, we need a reference to our wheel. So let's do public transform wheel. We're going to do wheel do local rotate. So this needs a vector three. So we're going to do a new vector three. We said it was the third parameter that we need to, to change the Z. We're going to do zero, zero. And now we're going to do rotate angles times minus one so we get it rotating clockwise now we're going to set here our public load rotate duration so how long we want it to rotate for so that's going to be our third parameter our second parameter sorry rotate duration and then we need another one to make this work it's going to be fast beyond 360 so it rotates properly now we're going to add here our wheel UI we're gonna assign the transform we want it to rotate for let's say three seconds and we want to do four rotations you can change this however you want and then we actually need to make this a real button so let's go here let's add a button script I'm gonna remove all of the transitions and make sure that it calls the do spin so let's go to wheel UI Spin wheel. Now if we press play and we spin, we 
can see that it's working properly. Now what we have to figure out is which category the wheel landed on. So here if we take a look, we have eight different categories and we said that the wheel is 360 degrees because it's a circle. So if we open our calculator and we divide 360 by eight categories, we see that 45 angles is how much each category takes. And we can see that pretty easily here. So if we rotate this by minus 45, we'll get to the end of movies. If we do it by minus 90, we'll get to the end of geography, etc., etc. So for example, to know if we landed on geography, it would have to be between minus 90 and minus 45. So this angle. So back in our script, let's do a public spring get landed category. Before we do this, we're going to need here a public list of strings, sorry, of string of categories. And here, after we get the random angle, we're going to do, we're going to pass it to this function. So it's going to be float angle. And we're going to get debug.log get landed category and we're going to pass it the random angle so what it's going to do here first we're going to we want to know how many angles per category we have so let's go angle per category so this will be 360 divided by categories dot length or count in this case we know it's going to be 45 and then we'll just return categories in the position of angle divided by angles per category. And now we have to cast this as an int because it has to be a whole number. And that should be it. Now in Unity, let's add our eight categories. So let's add eight elements here. And we have to make sure we go on this order. So the first one is going to be movies. If we press spin now, it's going to land on map. And yep, let's try it again. Land on map again. Let's try it again. This time, literature. As you can see, since we're using math, we don't have to wait until this finishes spinning to know what the result is going to be. Now, let's polish this up a bit. We're going to add a new UI element here. Let's call this title. We're going to import another image that we have here just to make the screen look a little bit better so like that and then we want the play button to be at zero scale so it's not seen and here in our script once the wheel completes rotating we want to pop up the play button so how can we know when this is done rotating so the easiest way is to just subscribe here to the oncomplete so we're going to do on complete. Let's rename this so wheel finish rotating. So this is going to be called when the wheel finishes rotating. So we're going to add a reference here as well to our public transform play button. And what we're going to do once it finishes rotating, we're going to do play button to scale. So we want to scale up to vector 3.1, so 111. And we're going to do this in five seconds. And just to make it look a little bit better, we're going to do a set ease out back. We then assign the reference to the play button. And if we now press play here, once we spin the wheel and we land somewhere, the play button appears. Now that we have our wheel screen, what I'm going to do is drag and drop it to the prefabs folder. We're going to actually go, go ahead and delete both of them here. And now under our canvas, we're going to create an empty child. This is going to be our panels manager. And we're going to duplicate it for our object pool. So these are going to be two scripts that are imported in the Bigfoot utils that we imported before. So panel manager and here object pool and for the prefabs for our pool we want to open it and drag and drop our question screen and our wheel screen we're also going to make one new 
child object. This is going to be our main screen. So this is going to be super simple. We're going to just add an image for our title. We're going to, we're going to grab our logo here, make it bigger. And we're going to do a play button. And we're just going to drag and drop here. We're going to also make this a prefab. And also add it to the object pool here. Now that we have all of our screens here in the object pool, I'm going to create a new manager. Let's call this menu manager. Here we're going to use an event from the panel events. So on panel manager initialized let's do show main screen and make make sure you unsubscribe from this on on disable so we're going to create this method and here what we want to do just a panel manager dot instance dot show panel we're going to do the main screen so what this is going to do is after the panel manager finish, finishes initializing, it's going to try to show the panel called main screen. Now back in Unity, we just create a new empty object. Let's call this menu manager. Make sure we add it here. And if we press play, we're going to see our screen instantiated. We can see that now that we press play, we get an, an error here. And if we go to the console, we can see that it's from the question manager because we still have that link in here. So we're, what we're going to do is actually just remove it from here and make and go to the question screen. Here we're going to add the questions manager and make sure we add all of the needed references again. So it's going to be correct, incorrect, and the question UI. The category name, we're going to leave it empty for now. Now that we have our main menu, what we want to do is after pressing play to go to the category wheel. So to do that, let's open our main screen. So in the play button, we're going to add a button component. We're going to remove the transition and we're going to add a show panel button. We want to hide the previous one, so we want to, when this is pressed, we want to hide this panel and show the wheel screen. And in the action, action list here, we want to just drag and drop this here and select to show panel. So just save here, go back. So now we have our main screen. Once we press play here, we get to the wheel, we spin the wheel, we land on a category and we see a play button. Now the last thing that we need to add here is once we press play, we need to go to the game UI and make sure that we get a question for the category that we landed in. That's going to be pretty easy to do. So what we're going to do is have a private string current category in our game manager. And we're going to do a public void set current category. And we're just going to assign that variable there. And we're going to do a public string get current category. And we're just going to return it. So now in our wheel UI, we're going to do here after we get the category we landed on. Instead of doing a debug.log, we're going to do game manager set current category. And we're going to it to the landed category and now if we go to our questions manager instead of having the category name here as a variable we're just going to delete this and we're going to do a private string current category and when we start here the game manager we're going to do current category is going to equal to game manager dot get current category and when we load the question, we want to load the question from that category. On the wheel screen, we're going to do something similar that we did in the main screen. We're going to get the play button. 
we're gonna make sure this is a button remove the, the interaction add a show panel button hide the previous question screen and we're gonna add it here to the action list now if we press play we see our main screen now we get the category wheel we spin it we land it on literature we press play we get a question about literature who wrote Frank 8451 it's going to be Bradbury that's correct you guys are going to notice that every time we answer a question we're getting back the same question in the category even though we have more than one if we go back to our code we can see that we have our get question for category and it's always going to return the first one of the category so what we actually want here is to have some method so we can get a question from the category so the ideal case here is that if we have a set of questions we get one after the other without them being repeated so we're actually going to do something for that we're first going to create a list of integers of the ask question index so this is going to be a new list of int make sure we add generic here so after we get the category that we want we're going to do a random index and we're going to get a random dot range from zero to category model dot questions dot count so this is going to get us a random question from the category and what we want to actually do here is make sure that it's not repeated so what we're going to do is here well category dot questions dot count is higher than questions index dot count and ask questions index dot contains random index we want to do this again and if not we'll just do ask question index dot add random index so to go over it here so if we have three questions in this category we're gonna do a random index of one of those so it's gonna be zero one or two and the first time it's just gonna go through and we're going to add it to our questions uh, ask questions index so if we go through this again and we get the same number let's say one again so what this code will do is that if we get a random index that is repeated that we already had during this session it's going to keep iterating until we get a different random index so we can just add it to our list and return it so here instead of returning category model dot questions at position zero we should return at random index and to wrap all of this up, make sure that every time we change the category, we'll just clear our list. If we now play the game and spin the wheel, we landed on music. If we check here, we have two different questions. So what's going to happen now is we're going to get one of them at random. Then the next one is going to be the other one. And after that, we're just going to get one at random every time. So here we see we got the Freddie Mercury first. So what's the singer of Queen? And then we're gonna get the Eminem one. So it's Marshall Matters. And then we're just gonna keep getting any of them. On the next video, we're going to wrap up this game by adding some simple power-ups. So we're gonna have a timer for our questions and we're gonna have the option to get more time, to delete an incorrect answer from the answer list, and also to just get a whole new question. And at the end, we're going to get a stats screen, so we're going to see how we're doing in each one of the categories. Again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.